got little matches on board. Well, this is definitely something different. It is a little different, a little different. It's my mud marrow. That's what it's called? Yeah, mud marrow, mud marrow yeah. So, or the honky donk, whichever one you want to call it. First of all, what's your name? My name's Chris Hyman. Where are you from? I'm from Oliver's, California. You brought the mud marrow. I don't even know, like when I saw it, I didn't even know what to think about it. It's <laughs> just so crazy. Like you see it from afar and it kind of looks like junk, but when you look up close, You've actually put a lot of thought into this thing. Yeah, well, eh, it's only a 30 day build. That's it? Okay, so this seems to be the trend here with a lot of these LS Fest cars. We got these 30 day builds, maybe two months builds, sometimes two weeks builds, and then even less. I, yeah, it took 30 days, but I'm giving it a four, it's been given a four year beat down so far. You know, it's been holding together, I broke a axle, and uh, a rear diff one time, they're just Dana 20 diffs. It's a Humvee H1 chassis. Uh, so that's what it is. Yeah. Okay, so where did you get this rear wheel steering? Did you have to make this yourself? Um, the Humvees actually come universal all the way around. The front hub and the A-arms are the same as the back. So it was as simple as just taking a tie rod out and putting a um, PSE rear steer kit for like a Rockwell steering axle. This is like a thousand bucks. Stuff. Yeah, it's all Humvee stuff, and then just this, this, I made a little plate that goes on the bulkhead right here, and then this uh, rear ram, the steering ram, just is welded to the bulkhead, and then you got the joystick in the middle right here that you, uh, you turn left or right. What? Yeah. So that, and that's the thing, is the Humvees come uh, stock with this hub, yep. which gives you however much. Yeah, because they make it the, t the front, the upper and the lower ball joint is the same in the front and the rear. So uh -huh. the actual hub and the spindle, and the, it's actually a gear reductive box. Right. Right here, when it's going forward, the axles are going in reverse. So what is that called? The, a portal axle. Portal axle, yeah. okay, so you get a lot extra ground clearance and also it kind of saves the transmission. A little yeah, bit, yeah, right? yep, yep. Yeah, it's the actual gearing in it's 273, but after the the, the portal axles themselves, they uh, gear reduct at 50%. Wow, yeah, that is just amazing. I did like an Atlas uh, rock crawler style transfer case in it, so you can do front front wheel only and do front digs, just spin the front tires off if you want, or you can do like a low rear and have just the rear tires, or you can do four wheel steer, four wheel drive, smoke show, donuts. <laughs> Feels like the apple riding the fair is what it feels like. Have you ever rode that? The apple riding the fair that you grab the wheel yeah, and you it spin makes it around and around and around. That's what it feels like in this. When you're done, you whoa, you're all dizzy. goodness just I, I don't even it just looks so cool I mean what do you actually use this for do you just take I it actually it? built it for mud bogs I've got a fair that's at my house it's a mud bogs fair and then I there, do some side-by-side -side drag racing in the mud with it <laughs> That's what I originally built it for. So it does have a lot of power then, huh? Yeah. Probably maybe like 650 or something. It's a, a CBM LS1 with a 76 millimeter precision turbo with a 100 shot of nitrous. What? It's on the shifter? Right here. Oh my God, you can hear it. That is just... What's cool about it is it's has form, but it's all function. Oh, what the heck? That is just too cool. 
you did this every, everything yourself. You did everything it. myself. Yep. If you notice, if you notice the the engine is actually offset to the left hand side because I centered the front diff to make it take all rear axles. It takes all rear axles instead of like stock front Humvees. The the pumpkins offset, so you have three different length axles. You got ones in the back that are mid length, one short one in the front, and one long one in the front. But why a H1 chassis? It was cheap on Craigslist. The mud pits that I deal with are really, really deep. So I didn't want to do a solid axle because it hangs down pretty far. So with the independent front and rear, it gives me more ground clearance. What a amazing build. I mean, it really is kind of like has that Mad Max feel. Yeah, it was to a, it. a budget, that's for sure. It runs off $2 gallon E85 fuel. Everything, everything on it pretty much came on Craigslist. Got from Craigslist. If you don't mind me asking, how much do you think it costs to build this thing? I'm probably in this thing, like maybe 10 grand. That's it? Yeah. 10 grand? Yeah, the the, fr the body was 50 bucks and the, the chassis itself was 1800 is what I paid for the chassis. It's it's all a, like a bunch of junkyard parts, but you kind of made something really yeah. special with it. Yeah, you just kind of like find, find all the parts and pieces you need to make the puzzle. You know, it was in my head already built. I just had to put it together. Oh my God. Find the right pieces, go on scavenging hunts. That is so cool. Yeah. So you mind if I get a ride in it? Yeah, you can take a ride in it. All right. You want to go? Yeah. All right. This thing is insane. I need to get a paint job someday. No, leave it like this. <laughs> this is cool. You couldn't even recreate this if you wanted to. You couldn't. And the funny thing is the body and the fenders came from two different separate places and it's almost the same color. What the heck? Look at that big old nitrous bottle. Can we got a little nitrous on board. Oh. Whoa, you could feel it. I can actually feel it when you're turning. Oh, the back wheel. Yeah, the back wheel. Whoa, it feels like you're drifting. We're drifting, but we're going straight. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. It feels so weird because we're sideways and we're moving straight. Because he's he's steering the rear right here. That is just <laughs> unbelievable. There is mud everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's it's used and abused, that's for sure. Well, that's what you built it for. Yeah. This is so cool. Look at this, guys, seriously. That's for my kids back there, they ride in it. How many speed transmission? Is Three speed there? turbo 400. It's like a trophy truck. <laughs> wow. Oh my God, that sounds so crazy. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much for showing this to me. No problem, bro. This is so cool. We got the windshield wipers and the, and the sprayer too, just in case. Just in case we see a mud pit, we might have to, might have yeah. to go a little off road. Oh, 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 oh. You mind if we pull it up into the dirt over there so I can sure. get some pictures of it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is so crazy. Yeah, you can take a picture of it. <laughs> Dude, that thing is unreal. It is so fast. this thing <laughs> he's crawling all over the place how cool is this thing how cool is this it seriously laid down perfect black marks when he floored it I mean it accelerates fast so cool the transfer case is like three to one so it's, it's gear reducted in the transfer case as well as the axles. It's basically a monster truck. Yeah, it's like a little mini monster truck. Yeah.